Okay, everybody, I decided to make another real quick uh, little demonstration of a new feature within the latest version of Photoshop on the CC 2018 release. Um, it's something that I've heard some confusion about and, and people struggling to understand what's going on because the brush and some of the other tools have been updated with what they call a smoothing feature, uh, which is up here in the options. So here's the, the paintbrush. And you can see, I think when you first load up the program, it sets it at a default of like 10%, which isn't really that big. And I'll try to get this to where you can see what's going on. But if you look along the edge of the brush, and this color is probably not the best. Let me just switch to white. You can see there's a little purple line that kind of shows up. And what's that? what that's doing is actually dragging the brush behind your actual cursor location to smooth its path out. So if I run this all the way up to 100%, you'll see a lot better idea of what I'm talking about. So as you drag this along, it just kind of flows in a smooth arc, uh, rather than if you turn it off, it, you get a little more jaggedy things going on. Um, personally, I don't know how much I'm going to use that feature because most of what I use the paintbrush for is masking out um, people and other objects. And I like to be really precise with what I'm doing with the paintbrush. But I can see for uh, some designers and other things, for instance, you can make pretty cool patterns with this really simply. So if you like little curvy, flowy things, you know, you can just really simply draw something like that pretty quickly. Um, and also, if you're working just with a regular hand mouse, uh, it can help kind of smooth out some of those strokes. Now, in here on the settings, there's some other options. Um, and you can actually pick multiple ones uh, depending on what's going on other than like the pulled string mode kind of grays out these other two and what that does is you can see it creates this larger circle and you can drag this around inside here without doing anything until you cross that and then it starts following your cursor now what that does is allows you to come to a stop and then come back so you can draw a sharp corner and do these kind of little tricky maneuvers. Now, that's kind of neat, but again, I don't personally know how much use I'll get out of that. I'm assuming I haven't found whether or not you can actually change the size of that purple circle, because I think really it would be a lot better if it were closer in because that's quite a ways you have to go to make that change but anyway that's the effect you get out of that okay i'm gonna get rid of that put another layer up here um so you turn that off and stroke catch up uh what that does is lets this like i'm just calling it a string but this little purple string as you move quickly, that string stretches out. But as you come in close and slow down, it catches up to your cursor. Okay. So that just, again, allows that to be a little bit more dynamic of a uh, stroke. The other one, catch up on stroke end, basically means that if you're dragging this along and lift your cursor up, it automatically snaps to where your cursor ended. Okay. And the funny thing is, if you have um, like a Wacom tablet with the uh, sensitivity, the pressure sensitivity on it, what it will end up doing is putting a little bitty sharp tail on the end of this that looks kind of strange. Um, I don't have that option turned on at the moment, so I can't really show you what it does, but uh, it might not be the favorite of... Eh, what did I do there? might not be something that 
everybody really likes. Okay, and then adjust for zoom. That basically just means that as you zoom in or out, it will change. You can see that that tail becomes a lot longer because you're further out of the image and kind of just needs to smooth it out more uh, than if you are in here close. I'm just playing over the top of this image because I had it open for for grins, no real reason. Uh, okay, so for the most part, I think if you just want to use your paintbrush the way you always have, just turn smoothing down to zero, get rid of that little purple line, and, and you basically have the same opacity and flow uh, characteristics that you've always had. Um, but if you're doing some design work and want to play with that and get some fun little uh, curvy shapes going, uh, it might be a neat thing to play with. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know.